Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson. How are you doing? Um, I just wanted to show everybody my little uh, comfort zone, my little space that I basically work out of and compose and stuff like that. Uh, my music and you know not only that I play piano and as you can see right behind me uh, this is Victor Pianos, this is the piano store and it looks like we're closed but we're not. We're, we're open but every time people are not here uh, the lights are off. When people are here, we turn on the lights, you know, save electricity. But what I wanted to show you is my little comfort zone, which is right over here. See this area says, do not enter restricted area, and it's open right now. But this is it right over here. This is what it is right there. And this is my little office space. And... Right over here, um, you might recognize the setup. This is actually my um, my old computer. I clean up this whole place. Um, there's my computer right there. I have uh, I don't even know what kind of computer it is. It's a uh, it's a Hewitt Packard. It's an old Hewitt Packard desktop, but it's running um, I think Windows. Um, I don't I don't know. I think Windows 8. <laughs> exactly, Windows 8 on there. And right here, covered up, this is my Yamaha Genos, which I'm going to uncover right now. This is what I work on. And th these covers are cool. I need to order more of those covers. But yeah, this is my beloved Yamaha Genos. It's so cool. Let me power it on. So I'll just press the power. And there it is. It's powering on right right now as we speak. And I have a light right over here. I don't have a shade because the reason I took the shade off is that the light um, it it illuminates the um, the keyboard, the Genos. Um, the ov the other light that I have over me is <laughs> sorry about that. The other light I have over me is this light right over here, which is the. Um, which is the fluorescent bulbs right here, but it's not over my space. It's just, it's just a little bit adjacent to it. Um, so, yeah, Genos is powered on. It's not loud, but it's powered by these speakers over here. These speakers, these are, um, these are Mackies. These are the MR, I think the MR5 MK2s. Uh, they are really, really powerful speakers. These are my X Studio monitors. Um, my new studio monitors is the MR8 MK3, so it's a little bit better. Uh, but these are the M MR5s MK2s, uh, which they are really good, powerful monitors. And I didn't want them to go to waste, so I bought them here since I'm not using them at the house. So that makes good. Uh, the Genos goes back and forth with me, um, you know, just just back and forth with me because that's the only Genos I have, um, and that's the only thing I could compose with. And it's it's kind of expensive doing that because um, this is a five thousand dollar instrument. Um, right over here, I have my headphones. Every time I do my live streaming, my headphones is right here, and I'm using um, I'm using Sennheiser HD uh, two eighty Pros. Uh, what it is, it's uh, 64 hertz, megahertz, right there. And um, just to check out the live streaming over here, this is the JVC um, HAG55, which is pretty cool. Um, you're going to probably wondering about all these saws right here. That's the only place where I could put them. But this right over here, this is a rack. You don't see this in the live streaming, everybody. And right here, this is a Radio Shack microphone that I just got that works perfectly. I don't mind if it stays here uh, because, you know, it's it's a pretty cool microphone. So that, that could basically just stay right where it's at. Now what I have up with this rack is a boom stand actually hooked all the way up to it. By the way, the uh, microphone's hooked up to a gooseneck. The boom stand's hooked up to it, and you can see all the way up there. Um, I'm using a uh, iRig. Two, which is by IK Multimedia, um, and it's hooked up to the headphones and the iPad. And the iPad, I have to stand on this. 
the iPad is located right here. So I don't leave that up there mostly, but it's located right there. It's already charged. The charge is right there, so I can never be out of charge. And I could turn it on and it'll show the image that you see just like that right there. And sometimes I tilt it up and you can see the image of the keyboard and the, and the computer. I was kind of trying to get a really good angle without my head being in the way. Um, so this is the whole setup right here, which is really cool. And this is where I just relax my mind and compose and everything. Nobody's here usually, it's just me. And at the same time, if somebody does walk in the door, I get to look this way and somebody could go into the front door and I could just watch them. I could watch them and assist them after that, which is really cool. Um, a lot of people wanted to know over here, this is where my chemicals are. And when I'm, when I'm fixing up pianos, I bring in, bring in the action and work on them right over here. So this is the, this is the mess area right over here, what I call it. <laughs> Plus the electric box, which is really cool. Um, over here, this is an old Yamaha um, portable grand sign, which I kept when I was a kid. This was in my bedroom. Um, and I had this, I had this when I was a kid, basically. <laughs> Not a kid, but I was, I was a little bit older than that. Um, this right over here, as you can see, this is the DGX 500. I think that's the, um, the 300, the 500, and this is the 200 right here. So that's, that's before they made the 202. There was a 200, 300, and 500 back then. And that's, I still have that. And you know what? I'm going to probably take that back home with me because I, I absolutely love it. But I, I keep that here because um, since the Genos is there, you know, it kind of reflects off of it. I need to get a really cool Genos poster. But I do all my arrangements. I do, um, I do everything here with that. This, this keyboard has become my ultimate tool of uh, composing and, and arranging and, you know, just basically whatever I can do just to... Um, just to make music and make me happy um, ever since my mom passed away over here guess where I bought the, the guess where I bought the genos from everybody I bought it from Sweetwater Sound so this right over here this is the catalog um, which they send me uh, they send me it almost probably like probably twice a month or whatever I, I forgot what their um, what their layout is but if you can't find a piece of equipment Sweetwater Sound has it they're the best services ever. They're they're phenomenal. I mean, I wish I could go up to um, all, all the way to um, where is it? Um, Fort Wayne, Indiana, just to um, just 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 to see it. But Sweetwater. This is what you call um, not a, a musician's guide. This is what you call a musician's guide. But this is also what you call um, uh, what, what do you call it? A musician's porn magazine. <laughs> That's what it's called. So. That's it, everybody. That's this is my little area space over here, which is pretty cool. And this is the um, this is the gig bag that I use to transport the Genos back and forth. This gig bag also transports my um, my Yamaha P1125 and my Williams um, digital piano, the slab piano keyboards. Um, so, and just to clarify, everybody, I just I don't work for Yamaha. I don't work for any companies. I do this. I get a lot of attentions with, with, with the companies. I I have friends that work with the companies, um, so I have a I have a big friendship level with all of the companies. Not just Yamaha, not just Casio, not just Roland or Korg. I have a friendship with all of the companies. So I like to remain as a friendship and help them out with their products. Um, I really don't like to bash anybody's products. I, I'm not that not that kind of way. Uh, if they do make a little bit of a mistake, I kind of like, of course, say it, but I don't like to bash anybody's products. Um, I like to show off the full potential of whatever um, is possible, whatever can be done of anybody's, um, you know, I should say of any company's products, not anybody, because a, a, not one person made it. It was a whole company of a whole company, a whole system that makes it and everything. So I don't work for any company except for my own. I have my own company. So... That's basically, I just wanted to clarify that with everybody, but I do have strong friends, strong relationship with Yamaha, Casio, 
Roland, Korg, Williams, and all the other companies. And I and I try to I'm like the glue that tries to help out everybody, you know. Okay, so that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please click like, subscribe, follow me on everything. Go to my website. No, I'm sorry, I don't have a website. I keep on saying that. Go to my uh, Facebook fan page, and also go to my um, my YouTube page and subscribe. Bye, everybody.